going on everybody going out for another day clearly uh, I'm dressed for success my cousin JT here he's the coyote killer one of the best shots that I know so uh, you should expect that we actually see something you know a little successful today unlike my other videos but uh, clearly you know he didn't communicate very well and told me that I should wear camo the only awesome camo I have is this sick leave beard I got going on but uh, anyways we're heading out we're gonna have a good time JT is gonna gonna show me how to shoot some coyotes. I've never actually been out and done this before. We got a coyote call, so uh, should should be a pretty good time. Hopefully, we will get them in pretty close. How close you think they'll get to us? About 15 yards, probably. 15 yards. All right. 15 yards. Hey, this is close up, close quarters combat right here, man. So, anyways, uh, give me a little bit of a, of an insight on how to how to kill a coyote, man. Like, what are we doing? So we're gonna put the uh, the call out there, draw them in. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pretty much just get up underneath the tree. We're gonna put the call out, and I'll have a hair call. I'm gonna mix it up here and there, and we're gonna just sit there and call about 15, 30 minutes at each stand, and uh, hopefully get one to come in and we put the hammer down on them. All right, man, I'm looking forward to it. If it doesn't, uh, <clears throat> if it uh, gets a little slow or something, we're going to the same place where we shoot some quail too. So maybe we'll do some of that. I don't know for sure main purpose here is to try and go out and kill some coyotes um, usually that's pretty exciting action from what I hear and uh, since I didn't bring you know any cami or anything like that maybe I'll throw on some 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 cami paint that I got in the car you know maybe if, if it this orange shirt becomes too much I'll just strip the whole thing off and put cami paint all over my body or something we'll see <laughs> but uh, anyways all right man stay tuned all right so here we go we parked getting ready to go out. He's going to set up a call. As you can see, the change. Got a little better cover now. Yes, sir. That's about it. Here we go. So, somehow, my battery died in that short uh, time for the car. So, we're gonna go walk and meet a friend who's got cables and uh, we switched over to shotguns. Maybe we'll shoot some quail or something on the way. Um, but that's kind of where we're at. So this may not turn into an episode. The cottontail calls? Yeah, cottontails, they work the best. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. You could do anything from, you can do, there's tons of, you can do Woody Woodpecker, you can do Coyote Pup Distress. Coyote Pup Distress is co cocaine for coyotes though. Really? completely they love the coyote pup distress but it has to be in the springtime it sounds like they're puppies they gotta come into it ah, see this is part of the problem is you gotta choose your attire wisely because it's a freaking pain check out my nice boxers I got this is this is a privilege access right here So some of y'all, some of y'all might be wondering why I'm wearing flat-footed skater shoes. I've learned over the last couple weeks that uh, hiking boots with the big heel and stuff like that are really difficult to walk in with the roundedness and everything else. The foot itself has enough uh, push like feedback and stuff where um, if you have a shoe with like a big sole, my experience at least has been that it's, it's harder to walk. So something with a thinner sole that's flat allows the foot to work as it's supposed to in action properly. It makes it a lot easier to walk around. So I'll have to look for some high top Chuck Taylors or something to hunt with from now on. So that way I can uh, have some high tops, not these low ones, and still get the same feeling. But that's your, that's your amputee pro tip for the day.
I got mine. Did you get yours? We just got a double, baby. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That was, that was what I tell you. Bro. Damn, buddy. That was exciting. I didn't even <laughs> fucking... Dude, I... I, I they're I, quiet. No, no. Whoa. They're quiet. I saw, they're, they're, I saw him come in. Yeah. I saw him coming. And then I see him coming right here. I'm like, Tommy. I was like, oh, please no, shoot no. him. I was oh, like, yeah. please shoot him, please shoot him. And then I, the other one stopped right here. You shot right before I was about to yeah. pull the trigger. Because he was standing broadside. I was about to shoot so him broadside. I didn't I see. I smoked him running. I didn't I see I yours going or yours at all. But I saw him and then he kind of came in. I was like, man, is that too far? I wasn't sure about. No, you smoked the, him. I didn't know about the lead shot. So I had it up and I was just waiting and waiting and waiting. And then he stopped and looked and I was like, Whoa. boom. Dude, are you kidding me? How long did that take? 45 seconds? <laughs> no, it was like two minutes, maybe. So what do you think about that? Huh? <laughs> My first yoke. Is that your first? I know you see. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's still kicking. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. He's been fighting. Where did I get him? All over. Oh, yeah, that's a heavy dog. Oof. You can skin this one up if you want. Yeah, I'm not gonna go through the trouble unless you want to take it and sell it. You hurting? A little bit. Man, was this coyote hunting super exciting. Well, that's it for today. We're going to go ahead and go home and clean our guns. But make sure you like and subscribe so you can check out our next video that's going to come out on uh, coos deer hunting in southern Arizona with an archery tag. Here's a little preview. Hope you like it. <sighs> I'm so pumped.